today we're going to be playing Need for Speed Most Wanted, the demo. Uh, I know it's been a while since I did any captures. It's, it's been a while before that, so it's going to take a little bit of time for me to get back into it. Um, uh, shit, when I started doing the live commentaries, I, I, didn't, I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing. <clears throat> no. I don't want to. Okay, so uh, they they just tried to uh, get me to sign up for Origin for a demo, which is crazy. So it seems that the game is starting now. So um, if you wonder where I've been, uh, I've been still gaming and everything. I've just been gaming on the Vita more with Assassin's Creed Liberations and of course uh, Ragnarok Odyssey. I still haven't posted that video, but I know that I got the motivation to do that today. Um, I don't have any anime or any movies to finish up today. Um, and a couple, I, I deleted a couple missions, some co-op missions of Ragnarok Odyssey with my brother until like 30 minutes. So I'm going to be capturing uh, this gameplay. I'm going to do some Epic Mickey 2 demo gameplay. And I'm also going to get that commentary out the way for Ragnarok Odyssey. My review of the title. Welcome to the city. So it Fair. doesn't really look like Home I can skip this part. Street racing on the planet. Everything looks nice, you know. I just can't wait to, till I'm actually Homes taking control of the car. The These cutscenes the are always made to look very, very nice. <coughs> they are the most. Um, one of my good friends the said that it this ha this game has the vibe of. Uh, Burnout Paradise, which I do have the digital version of this game, of that game. So hopefully it really is like Burnout Paradise. It looks like it a little bit, but, you know, with more realistic cars, name brand cars. Now, anybody that knows Gran Turismo, you know that Gran Turismo 5 has over a thousand cars. This game only has 50. Um, so... And even if you want to say that what premium or whatever, uh, people Follow argue about stupid stuff. I believe the Gran Turismo still has a good deal of uh, premium cars. So it looks like I'm taking control of the car now, and I can't drive or shit right now. I get better. Very realistic on the wobble of the car. Very nice. Very nice. Well, it doesn't have cockpit view, so I can't really compare that to Gran Turismo anyway. The first car you get does not have cockpit view. For the demo, for the demo. Very nice, very nice. This is a demo, so, um, you know, the gameplay won't be as... Why did I think it was a ramp there? It does give me that vibe that I'm playing. Oh, loving the damage on this game, though. It does give me that vibe that I'm playing uh, Burnout Paradise, like a much upgraded version. And I won't mind getting this for my PS Vita in a couple weeks, um, or a couple days, actually. Um, I'm still trying to decide whether I should get this or Call of Duty for the PS Vita. Uh, Call of Duty for the PS Vita, as well as Burnout Paradise Most Wanted. Uh, they don't have a demo for it, those games on the PS Vita, but they just got a demo for Ragnarok Odyssey. So if you wanted to know what that game is about by any chance, they do have the United States demo on the new PlayStation Store. So you should go download that. You found your first okay, I didn't want to go that way anyway, but... Just look for the vehicles with badges above them. Hit the button to switch. Okay, so now I'm taking... Over the Porsche. Every oh, car crap. you find has its own set of races. <sighs> they really should have a, a option to skip tutorials. Um, this is a city, so I'm gonna start critiquing this demo. I'll see. See where I can um. See some detail. Okay, flat textures. Doesn't even look like you could go. Yeah, didn't think so. Then, then expect the car. Game. To start the race, pull up to the checkpoint and spin your wheels. 
This is a nice car. I've been. I just ran into a dumpster and I don't see a fucking mark on it. But I know how to get a mark on this motherfucker. Oh, wait up. They got those shortcuts. Yeah, they got those shortcuts like on uh, Burnout Paradise. I'm not honestly, purposely trying to bang up the car. But I got some. Uh, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna get into a race. Cool. So, um, I'm gonna do a little race for you guys. I'm still within my time frame for these demos. I wanna make it at least less than 10 minutes, so. I gotta show you guys the whole race. But I really like the game. It's definitely will be a good PS Vita game for $40. I don't mind. Um, title for the PS Vita for under forty dollars. Definitely looks like it's a great title. They say the Vita version is console quality so I can't wait to see if that lives up to the, all the hype. <coughs> as far as Call of Duty, the gameplay I saw on YouTube about the title, I love it. It's just the gun sounds are not authentic. I definitely think they could have added that into the PS Vita. It's more than capable of a uh, gaming console to do something like that. So for them not to have realistic gun sounds on a PS Vita version or a Call of Duty title is kind of stupid. Um, but once again, it wasn't Treyarch that made the game, it was um, somebody else, the people that made uh, the Resistance title. Oh, I was first place this whole time, just chilling. Okay, do I got some torque? No. No boosters on here. Oh, hell. No! Bullshit. Oh, burn nitrous available now. Wow. Now it's available. Finishing first or second wins mods. I fucked up this car, though. For an Look at that window shield. I didn't think I was gonna be able to finish that race. Easy drive later to change your tires, nitrous, chassis, body, or Oh, they doing all this shit for me, man. I don't think I'm over there controlling some of the options and damn I hate this automatic stuff. Like I'm tired of that. Take you up the most wanted list. And racing is just one way to I don't know. It's just just these developers they have something uh about all of their new titles there they believe that nothing but casuals are playing their titles that's what they believe they believe that only casuals play their titles so they believe they have to walk everybody through a game it's just like these uh, uh directors that are making these movies uh you don't have to walk everybody through the story of superman or spider-man they should know that shit you know or even the story of batman it's just it's something that they're doing and i think they should stop you know, if they want to cater to hardcore gamers, they don't have to treat us like we've never played a racing game before. Um, especially if it's made by the same company that's been making the other 20 racing games that we played before. So, you get my point. Same thing with Madden or any other sports game. Um, sometimes it's, it's best not to change mechanics. You can change the visuals and other stuff like that, but, you know, keeping the same controls is great. Um, I like the game. Definitely go pick it up for the Vita. Uh, I think also third parties should try to get in to the cross buy, but you know they're greedy, so they they're not gonna break um have deals for that. Uh, deals like that for the gamers. But uh, it does give me that um Paradise City feel because I'm free to drive around the city as I please. So. This is this is a selling point for me. So I'll definitely go uh, be picking this game up for the Vita. Buy the full game to drive this car. Okay, a shitty car anyway. But compared to what I've done with this car, it's actually beautiful. Okay, um, video dragged on much longer than 10 minutes. 
Uh, one of my first commentaries back having the, my capture card. I like the game. I like it a lot. I know I found a lot of shit that I, I would normally find wrong with the game, but I like it. I like it enough to buy it for the Vita for $40. Definitely go get it.